Today on Ham Radio Q&A, we're going to take a look at Radio Oddity's Mini Commander CB Radio, so please keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, kb 9 dbr your host for Ham Radio Q&A. I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, regular viewers of this channel will know that occasionally I venture outside the realm of amateur radio, but really all forms of radio communication share some commonality. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about CB radio, and specifically the Radio Oddity CB27 Mini Commander CB radio. Thank you for Radio Oddity for providing me a unit to um, review and evaluate for this video. Well, in the U.S., uh, the CB, or Citizens Band Radio Service, is an unlicensed service that consists of 40 channels at around 27 megahertz. You can transmit up to 4 watts AM, or amplitude modulation. Propagation on CB can be quite similar to the uh, 10 meter amateur radio band, so when uh, band conditions or propagation is good, uh, you can get quite a distance in your communications. Uh, CB operators like to call that skip. Otherwise, the purpose of CB really is for short communications of a few miles or so. That makes a CB radio perfect for uh, over-the-road truck drivers, uh, travelers, and um, overland or off-road enthusiasts. Radio Oddity's Mini Commander certainly lives up to its name. Opening the box, the first thing you notice is the size of the radio. Really, it's not much bigger than the palm of my hand. The CB27 is about oh, four and a quarter inches long by about four inches deep. The radio has a large display on the front with a volume uh, that can combine power knob and four other buttons. The back of the unit has a permanently attached power cable that has a cigarette lighter adapt power adapter and also a UHF female or SO239 connection and a 1 8 or 3.5 millimeter mini plug for an external speaker. Uh, there is a speaker on the bottom of the radio and a small cooling fins uh, built into its aluminum body. I think this small size should make it pretty easy to mount in just about any vehicle. I know in today's cars it can be quite difficult to find a spot for the radio. So hopefully the, you know, the diminutive nature of the CB27 will give you plenty of mounting options. Turning on the unit for the first time, you're greeted with static, but pressing the SQ button on the front panel brings up the squelch control and you can use the up and down buttons on the microphone to adjust the squelch level. Once that's set, those buttons are also used to select any of the 40 channels that are available. Moving on to the other buttons, the AF button is for modulation selection. This radio is also available as an international version that has FM support in countries where that is available. But in the US, the FM is uh, permanently disabled, so the button doesn't do much on the US version. If you do a short press of the button, uh, you can put the radio into scan mode though, which goes at about a rate of two channels per second. The RFG button is for RF gain, and pressing it allows you to adjust the gain of the incoming signal. This can help you pick up weaker signals or attenuate very strong signals on a channel. Uh, the higher the setting level, uh, the more attenuation you're going to be giving your reception. Finally, the EMG button is the emergency channel switch. A short press gives you channel 9, another short press uh, you get channel 19, and a third press goes to your original channel. Also, the long press of the EMG button locks the radio so that um, you'll need another long press of the EMG button again to unlock the radio. And that's pretty much it for the functions of the CB27. And the Mini Commander is pretty basic when it comes to operation. So let's run down you know, some of the good and bad features of the Radio Oddity CB27. Well, first off, things I like about the CB27. Well, it's a small form factor. It has an aluminum body with cooling films built right into the case. Large ergonomic microphone, pretty easy to operate, and uh, the display with uh, the channel numbers, they're quite easy to read. And the downsides of the Radio Oddity CB27. Well, the squelch is adjusted by a button press. Yeah, I'd prefer a knob, especially if I was traveling in a high noise environment. Uh, power cables, a little bit on the thin side, but I'm sure it's going to be quite adequate uh, for the two amp draw that the radio pulls on transmit. And the scan rate is really quite slow. But bottom line, the CB27 is a very small transceiver for the unlicensed citizens band. Small enough that you could tuck it away in your glove box or find a mounting area almost anywhere in your vehicle. And like I said before, this would be a good radio for travelers, like over-the-road drivers, uh, 
off-road, four-wheel enthusiasts, overland, overland um, people. And I would probably recommend any amateur radio emergency communications group to have a CB as part of their uh, communications plan. If you're truly working in an emergency situation, you may want to be able to coordinate uh, radio traffic with trucks and delivery vehicles. Having a ready access to a CB radio would make that task a lot easier. Plus, the CB27 is small enough that it can be easily cut tucked into just about any go kit. Well, if you have any questions and comments, please leave them in the common areas below. I try to answer them, and uh, maybe I'll pick a few for my next Your Questions Answered video. But for more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpole-antenna.com. Uh, your support for this channel drives the production of future videos. So if you like this video, always, always give me that big thumbs up. And uh, check out some of the other videos that are recommended alongside here also. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Pressing that subscribe button and the little bell notification next to it will um, remind you or let you know when future videos are released. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.